pumpkin. Here I have a whole Jap pumpkin and I'm going to cut a segment out of here and show you how to prepare pumpkin. And this one here is a butternut pumpkin. So there are a number of them around. We've got the Queensland Blue and um, a few others that uh, you will see around. When you are preparing pumpkin, um, it, it is a little tough, so you need to use a really good, strong knife to attack the pumpkin. Um, but when you, when you do chop through it, just make sure that you put the tip of the knife in first and then we'll work through. You can buy them already prepared, you can buy them cut into smaller sections because you don't always want a whole pumpkin and you can even buy them pe um, pe already peeled for you now, which um, is a big cop out I reckon. And you do lose some nutrients by having them peeled. The longer they're peeled, the more nutrients are lost. So let's get into this one. A good strong knife, as I said, we're going to take the cook's knife and put the tip of the knife straight into the centre here and come all the way down. And this is always a fun thing to do on camera when it's a great big pumpkin like this and I've got to use some strength. Okay, now we'll go around, take another section and hopefully this cut will be a little easier. There we go. Just make sure we cut that section out and here you can see there's not a huge amount of seeds in there. Often there's a, a big bulk of seeds in there that you can scoop out with a spoon. Normally if they come out of this part, we can scoop that out with a spoon rather than your hands because it's quite fibrous and it's much easier to get out with a spoon. So we'll pop that to the side and you can either use your cook's knife or your fusion knife and then cut the skin away. So getting the segment out of the pumpkin is the hardest part. Put that around, move all of that to the side and then if you want to again cut this into dice, cut it into strips like so, thinner strips and if you're making pumpkin soup I would cut it this small because it cooks quickly and then you can just top it. Or if you're roasting pumpkin you can leave it in the larger segments like this and roast it in the large pieces and you'll still have a great result. So there we are, chopping pumpkin. If you would like to learn more, why not host a Chef's Toolbox Workshop in your home?